Hello everyone, this is Rocco coming at you for my first 12.6.3 full self-driving drive. Um, as you can see, um, we are still at 25 mile an hour, so I'm going to go ahead and up this to the speed limit of 45. Oh dear. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> That's a bad spot for them to be walking. People sometimes fly around that corner. Well, that makes the first part of the drive exciting. Um, <laughs> anyways. Um, car reacted great to deer. So that's awesome. Um, <laughs> Onyx, Onyx, that carriage is like, <laughs> not me. <laughs> he, he, he rides back up. You can probably see him up in the mirror. He, he sits against the seat because he knows the car is likely to break and then throw him forward. So he's learned to sit against the seat. But yeah. I hope everyone is doing great this morning. This video, I hope it's probably gonna be a one take again. We're just gonna see if we can get a zero intervention drive this time. Maybe the school bus won't be there. If it is, I'd rather it be there to see if it works this time. But we'll find out. Um, so this is obviously a dot release, another dot release. Uh, the other one might have just been like a software on the computer side, and the, this one's this full self driving is dot two to dot three. So. We're gonna see if that makes any difference in terms of, did it fix the blinker here? <laughs> that's so weird how the blinkers have regressed. Like of all things regressed, that's whatever, fine, I'll deal with it. But um, light bar, okay. Um, yeah, of all things they regressed, the blinker regressed. So that's kind of a weird one. But yeah, we're seen here if it will go smoothly around the curves like uh yeah 50 52 max that works 52 max is really what i would go on this road um i guess technically i'm not truly intervening here because it, it goes whatever speed it wants it'll just go faster this is now going w way more timid unfortunately than the previous version I don't know if it's because I was in chill mode. I don't know if, because you can't see the profiles change. I was in chill. Uh, and I, I moved the wheel to make it as if it went to standard, but I can't see the profile. So I don't know if that's actually changed the profile or not right now. But now the speed is up to you know, a decent speed. That's what it should be. If you are new to the channel, uh, if you've seen my previous videos, I got a lot of uh, hate on that, for lack of a better word, a lot of support. I appreciate you guys who do support me. Um, it is very important, though, that you don't take my word as gospel. If, do not take any person's word as gospel. Do your own research and make your own conclusions. If you see my evidence that the 12.6.2 has issues, you see other people saying in other examples of it going on the wrong side of the road, uh, seeing about Chuck's video, or like crossing the lines constantly, then yeah, maybe it's not a good version. So they need to improve it. Perhaps that's what they did here. I Unfortunately, this drive this morning really isn't going to uh, thoroughly test that. Uh, we are going a tad bit too fast. I mean, it's fine, I guess. There's a police car here. Uh, it slowed down like that. And it's on the wrong side of the road. <laughs> um, okay, so no school bus this morning. Just a normal truck dropping someone off. It is slowing down, though. Because they were on slightly on the side of the road. Oh, well, it's great. Great behavior. Still crossed that yellow line, though, around the curve. So that makes me think this version has not fixed that problem. So it's like, what is the dot release do then? If it doesn't fix the most serious issue in the whole update across the old people that I've seen videos on, then what's the dot release doing? But don't judge it based on that one turn. You know, it's done stuff like that before in previous versions. Mostly, like I said in my other video, that it needs to not cross the yellow line, all the yellow line, and hit the rumble strip on the highway, unless it needs to. Ah, oh, <laughs> we are just a couple minutes early. I have no idea why this is um going so slow on this road. They definitely made the speed profiles more timid. 
I mean, it's not going a bad speed. It's just this whole this whole version is substantially more timid, which is interesting. And I saw a couple of people post this came out before, I, right as I went to bed. I fell fell asleep and probably had just pushed to the car. But um, they were saying it was speeding on the chill profile, which is opposite what I'm seeing here. I d we don't have the profiles below 50 mile an hour yet, but this is <laughs> very slow. I mean, on this road is actually fine because uh, you're running close to all these houses around. There might be children playing, blah blah blah. It is a kind of a rough road, so yeah, makes sense to be going this slow. The other road though, where we saw that school bus, mm, no, not really. It's uh. And it continues. It's gonna turn off the blinker. It doesn't need, it doesn't need the blinker on. I mean it does at the bottom of the hill, but not now. So that's that's definitely an um uh, well I know it's probably over the previous 12.5.4. It seems to when you re-navigate, it seems to pick up a little bit more smoothly. Instead of like kind of freaking out or taking forever to reroute and all that type of stuff. That was one of my biggest issues back in the version 11s. And maybe, actually, it might have been even... Yeah, the early version 12s actually had that problem, too. It was just absolutely so slow dude. Uh, to re-navigate. caused so many problems. Yep, so this is great speed again in here. As you can hopefully tell from the video, <laughs> it's extremely lumpy in here. So great behavior here, stop at the stop sign. Now let's see, it's in a 35, going to a 20. Should it even hit 35. Okay, you're gonna slow back down. Still, oh. Yeah, it doesn't need the blinker on, especially, even if it didn't need the blinker on, that was way too early. I bet you're where, well, I'm not gonna disengage. I'm just gonna use the scroll wheel now. Um, it depends on speed. Um, how fast is it gonna go in the school zone? That's the that's the biggest deal for me, is that it's school hours right now. And you just, you don't speed in the school zone. Okay, again, so good. It's not, did not flinch for the blinking yellow. It's what we wanna see. And then we want to not be going 29 in a school zone. I'm just, you saw the police car sitting over on the other side. I don't see one here necessarily today. It doesn't mean they're not watching somewhere. Let's see if it goes up in speed once it hits the, hits the 35 sign up here. So I'm still thinking about buying a 45 mile an hour sign just like this one um, and putting it on the road to get it to change speeds and see if it works. It might not work. If it doesn't, then I have a um, fun prop. <laughs> see if it speeds up here. It's still going, it's going a little bit slow all through here. I think they're doing this purposely. It seems like they're almost ready to make this go wide. And they do this every time. The early releases are like nice and assertive and aggressive and they work well. And then they just uh, tone it down for the wide release and it's just, they make it really timid. Which for a lot of people that's worse because the way if you, in certain areas, that's actually more dangerous to drive that way. So you don't always want that, yeah. It would be, will be nice if that 45 mile an hour speed limit sign works. Go ahead and comment down below if you do think I should get that. I put a poll on X, everyone, um, like 60% think I should get it. I don't know, it's, it's a 50-50 shot whether or not it's actually gonna work. It, sometimes it's all GPS based, sometimes it will read vision. So I don't know if it's based on GPS, map data, or vision. We got a person road, so very good. Very smooth going around that person.
it's still it's still writing the yellow line to look at that that's not <laughs> we're gonna make this a turn that's unacceptable <laughs> you guys were commenting I should have a shirt on that <laughs> I don't know if I'm ever gonna do merch that would be, that would be kind of funny though but to me like that's like I'm gonna say this pretty bluntly you're a terrible driver if you do that in the mountains on just a, a road that it unless you are driving extremely fast like you are you are breaking the speed limit there's no reason to drive like that you do not need to drive like that in the mountains oh oops we are not getting on the highway okay um well i'm pressing this to keep it going because i'm not wanting to slow down the middle of the road anyways so yeah um essentially zero necessary interventions uh, while, while it was going nine over in a school zone, uh, it wasn't necessary for him to say, like, there's no cops around, there's no people around. I just prefer to play it safe, because I'm not going to take it. Tell me what you guys think. I don't really see a difference from the previous two versions on this, but hey, maybe there's a difference. I will be out testing tomorrow, probably not making videos, but I'll be out testing tomorrow. And uh, if you follow me on X, we'll, uh, I'll let you know how that works. Um, if you have any questions for me, put them down below, and I will see you in the next video. Appreciate you watching, everyone. Bye.